So, agencies and Patricia, thank you very much for coming to our webinar. It is actually the first webinar of 2024. So, I wish you a booming year with a lot of collaborations. And firstly, we're starting with Warsaw University of Economics. And Miss Patricia here is the admissions officer and she's going to show you around how it's going to be like when your students will go to Warsaw University of Economics and how it's going to be like when you're studying in Warsaw specifically and in Poland. It's going to be very interesting, I promise. Uh, so, uh, welcome everyone uh, to the webinar. Uh, my name is Patricia and I'm going to give you some overview of our university's life and uh, functioning as an organization. Uh, to be specific, uh, topics which we are going to cover is why you should study in Poland, important papers, how much it costs, uh, places to live, how to collaborate with us, uh, commission structure and uh, every other information that you want to gain uh, from that webinar. So I think we can start. Uh, I will start with a little introduction to, to Poland, to, to Warsaw, and finally to our university. As you can see, there are so many office buildings. Uh, Warsaw is a good place to get a job. Uh, there is so many big companies. Uh, after graduation from our university, you can use, easily get a job in Okay, and this is our area. Actually, this is where our university is located in. It's This is called Powisle. That's the Bura where the university is situated. Oh, and we are located exactly here across the river. So I wow. think this is very nice, very nice. After some classes, you can go to the Vistula River and chill. There's also so many bars, restaurants, coffee shops. So I think this is the perfect place for young people. It's uh, worth to tell that you can recommend young people this place because this is really cool, really cool. So Warsaw University of Economics. Uh, we are pretty new, to, to be honest, because uh, recently we changed our name uh, from Warsaw uh, University of Humanities to Warsaw University of Economics. Uh, why we did this? Because uh, we wanted to hear voice of our students uh, which desired to uh, gain more knowledge of economic stuff. I think this is very a very popular direction right now. So many companies they are seeking for economic specialists. Uh, that's why we created such courses. And I think uh, it turned out uh, very good uh, because uh, our students our students can easily get a job in the biggest companies, especially in Warsaw, but also in other European countries. Uh, as I mentioned before, we are located in Powisle. This is a very cool place for young people uh, with many clubs, many beach bars, uh, museum, museums and theaters. So uh, I think it's the best place to start, uh, start your adventure in the new country. And this is a very good place also when it comes to uh, commuting because um, there is a metro two minutes uh, far from the university. Uh, you will easily get to the center in less than 10 minutes. Uh, so I think location is perfect as well. Uh, yeah, what else can I say? Uh, you can commute with metro uh, with bus, uh, with tram, there's many options. Uh, so even if you want to get to the 
farthest areas of Warsaw, uh, because Warsaw is big, there is so many districts, you can easily choose a uh, main of uh, transportation and it, it can be bus, it can be metro. Uh, you can commute everywhere you want from here. Uh, now I want you to I'll tell you a bit about the uh, processing of applying. So uh, documents, uh, documents which we uh, demand uh, because we only offer bachelors uh, at this time. So first of all, high school diploma, transcripts and scan of the passport. Uh, we also required uh, English certificate uh, for countries uh, where the English is not a official language. Uh, but if a candidate doesn't possess uh, such documents, uh, we can easily schedule a quick, very short interview via Zoom to check the language skills. Uh, when we uh, received all the documents uh, which we required before, we issuing of a letter. Of a letter is the document uh, for you to see uh, how much the candidates must pay, when is the due date, and how the payment must be done. After we receive the payment, we gonna issue visa letters. All the documents uh, should be submitted via email. Uh, we prefer that option because we, we want to uh, keep the documents safe. So we don't recommend sending the documents via WhatsApp, for example, because sometimes agencies uh, required this uh, kind of communication. But uh, we insist on sending emails to keep all the documentation safe. Uh, what about uh, visa documents? Uh, we gonna issue all the uh, needed required documents, but sometimes uh, I can imagine there is a problem with appointments. Uh, there is a problem with visa delay. Uh, so we also uh, supporting agencies uh, in such situation. We can issue for you, for example, extension letter to let embassy know that the date of starting of uh, the intake is extended. So even uh, even uh, the student is going to be uh, late uh, for the start, uh, we can help him to catch up, right? Uh, of course, we can also issue some kind of invitation letters. Uh, it also helps. Uh, so everything you want, just need to contact us and we're gonna do what we can to help. Uh, next thing, prices. Uh, our regular price is 2,900 euros for one year and 1,650 for one semester. This is the regular one, but we constantly offer promo uh, specials uh, for our agencies. Uh, right now, there is a 2,500 euros for one year, uh, but only right now, uh, I'm just saying, uh, it can be even less in the next month, let's say, for example. Uh, so you must follow us on social media, uh, you should check uh, your emails because we will be sending you information about our promo offers. And of course, if someone uh, applies uh, on location, I mean in Poland, uh, the price is also different. Then is 2,400 for one year and 1,400 for one semester. 
of course, everything plus entry fee. Uh, so this is how it looks. Uh, as I said before, you should check your emails, you should check our social media because we are trying to prepare something new every month. Uh, a bit about, about our uh, courses. Uh, so uh, we created uh, many faculties um, referring to economic staff, uh, for example, managerial economics, logistics and forwarding trade, which is very popular right now among our students, I must say, uh, business management, uh, also, there is psychology in business, hotel and tourism management, international business, international trade, human resources management. Uh, I think uh, courses are very interesting. Uh, human resources and management is very popular. Uh, very popular is also tourism and hotel uh, economics. Uh, why? I think because uh, many young people, um, they start to think to run their own business instead of work for some somebody else, right? Uh, so such courses, they can help them to start uh, something which they can conduct by their own. Uh, but also... Uh, for example, human resources management. Uh, after this course, you can work uh, in HR. Uh, you can be a uh, coach. You can be a, a mentor. So there is many options. We were trying to create something which gives uh, our candidates um, practical knowledge. Not only theoretical stuff, but uh, practical knowledge and experience. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can contact us uh, via, via WhatsApp, via email, and uh, via our social medias. Uh, I encourage you to send the applications uh, via email to keep the documents safe. Okay. Now I want to tell you about TRC process. Uh, TRC, which means temporary residence card. So, uh, as I told you before, after payment, we're gonna issue for your candidate a visa letters. Visa letters. First, we will send you a soft copies via email, and then you will be given at the original ones. We will ship them uh, to the address which you provide. And after your student gets a visa, visa is valid for one year. This is called student's visa, and this is valid for one year. After this one year, student must apply for the TRC. And this TRC card is uh, valid until the graduation. So I think this is important information. And once the student graduates, he needs to apply for TRC once again. So this is how it looks like. Of course, we will help you with all the forms of the documents uh, which you need to provide to the uh, foreigner's office. Uh, so don't worry about that. Uh, we will issue all the needed confirmations, student confirmations, payment confirmations. Uh, we even sometimes uh, help our student to go there and uh, talk with the officers because I know in Polish uh, offices, uh, not everyone uh, talk English. Uh, so we can also help with that there's no problem uh, we just need to know ariel when is the date of appointment and we can go with the student uh, and the next step is permanent residence card uh, i know this is something maybe you 
don't think about right now. Uh, but I think it might uh, be interesting for you in the future. So I think it's better to know now the procedures. Uh, you must say, uh, you must know that uh, the student, student or any other, uh, or any other workers must be here for at least uh, four years. Um, this is important because if there, if this is less than four years, um, your request might be just, you know, reject. So the time is, uh, I think it's crucial at this point. Uh, and another thing, uh, you must uh, possess all the confirmations. I mean, uh, you must prove uh, to the office of foreigners that uh, you were staying here legally uh, based on temporary residence permit, which you have been granted uh, in the past. So first thing is the time. Second thing uh, are the documents, confirmations. Uh, you will be also asked to fill the form and you will be asked to um, provide the small photo. I think there are four small photos you need to take to the office. Uh, and then after completing all the documentation, the office uh, will discussing and we will, will uh, making decision and they have i guess one month for the decision so uh i think the process is pretty simple but it's worth to know that the four years are are the request and also uh, the documents which i have mentioned before uh, after uh, you will be given the residence card, uh, you can work in Poland without any other additional documents, uh, legal, le legalizing your employment, uh, but only in Poland, right? Uh, so it's not including uh, other countries, uh, even those within the Schengen area. So you must uh, remember that only in Poland the permanent permanent residence card will be eligible. Uh, so Patricia, today in our webinar, you have uh, attracted forty six agencies who came to oh. us, <laughs> and you have answered about fifty questions from them. And now most of them are still here with us. So thank you very much for your attendance agencies. And thank you, Patricia, for providing us with so many important and interesting information.